Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to form a differential equation from the given question. You observe here, form the differential equation of a family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along poised to y axis. In this question, they are not given equation directly. The equation is in the form of statement. What is the statement? Family of parabolas having vertex at origin. You observe here, this is the origin. Okay. Now, family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive y axis. Where is positive y axis? This is positive y axis and this is negative y axis. Here they are saying that axis along positive y axis. If axis along positive y axis, parabola will be upward direction or downward direction. As they are saying axis along positive y axis, uh, parabola is open upward direction like this. You observe here, this is the parabola open upward direction. Actually they are specifying that family of parabolas. But I considered only one parabola. One parabola is enough from that family to write its equation. If we take another parabola, it will be of different focus, but vertex will be at origin only. So I consider only one parabola from that family having vertex at origin. And all the parabolas, this we learn in conic section parabolas, all the parabolas whose vertex is at origin and axis along positive y axis, then what is its equation? If parabola is open upward direction, then the equation of parabola is x square equal to 4ay. If parabola is downward direction, then x square equal to minus 4ay. The equation of family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along a positive y axis is x square equal to 4ay. Now we got the equation of family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive y axis. Now actual thing is what we need to form a differential equation. To form a differential equation, we always remember three steps. What are those three steps? First, we will identify number of arbitrary constant present in the given equation. That many times we will differentiate. In the process of differentiation, we will try to eliminate arbitrary constants. After differentiation, if arbitrary constants are eliminated, it is well and good. Otherwise, we will use this step 3. We use given curve or after first time differentiation, what you will get? That we will use. We will use any two or all these or any one we will use to eliminate arbitrary constants at the end. You observe this curve. In this curve, how many arbitrary constants are there? Only one arbitrary constant is there. That is A. Don't think that 4 is an arbitrary constant. 4 is a fixed constant. Here 2 is a fixed constant. Only one arbitrary constant is there. That is A. So as one arbitrary constant is there, how many times we can differentiate this? We can differentiate this only one time. So you differentiate this with respect to x. d by dx of x square equal to d by dx of 4ay. I am differentiating this with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of x square with respect to x. We know that derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x equal to, you observe here, here 4a is constant. So we can take 4a outside and d by dx of y. What is d by dx of y? d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx. You observe one time differentiation is over. After differentiation, the arbitrary constant is eliminated or not yet eliminated. You see, 4a is still present. That means after differentiation, arbitrary constant is not yet eliminated. Then we'll use the third step. What is the third step? We use given curve or dy by dx. You observe here given curve. From the given curve, can I write 4a? What is 4a from the given curve? From the given curve, if you observe, 4a can be written as, you take y to this side. What is 4a? 4a is x square divided by y. So what I'll do in this equation, in place of 4a, I'll write x square divided by y. 2x equal to x square 4a. In place of 4a, I'm writing x square divided by y into dy by dx. You observe here, arbitrary constant is eliminated. Here, little bit of simplification is possible. That we will do. You see here, here 1x and here 1x will get cancelled. Okay. Then what will be remaining? You take y to this side. Then what you will get? 2y equal to x into 
dy by dx. So, this is the required differential equation for the family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive y-axis. Now, we will do one more problem of same type. I request you to pause this video and try that problem your own. You see, this is similar question to previous question. Form the differential equation of family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive x-axis. Here only the difference is axis is along positive x-axis. You observe here where is positive x-axis, this is positive x-axis, correct? And vertex is at origin as usual. Then you know how its parabola looks. A parabola open towards right side like this. What is the equation of parabola which is open towards right side? I considered only one parabola from family of parabolas. Only one parabola is enough to find out its equation. No need to draw so many parabolas, family of parabolas. Okay. Here you observe this is the parabola whose vertex is at origin and whose axis is along positive x-axis. The general equation of all the parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive x-axis is y square equal to 4ax. A same step I will write here. See the equation of family of parabolas having vertex at origin and axis along positive x-axis is y square equal to 4ax. I written the statement in the equation form. Once we got the equation, then we will identify number of arbitrary constants present in the given equation. Here, how many arbitrary constants are there? Only one arbitrary constant is there, that is A. Here, 4 is a fixed constant, 2 is a fixed constant. Only one arbitrary constant is there. If only one arbitrary constant is present, how many times we can differentiate this? We can differentiate this only one time. So, you differentiate this with respect to x on both sides, d by dx of y square equal to d by dx of 4ax. Okay, derivative of y square with respect to x. We know that derivative of y square is 2y. As we are differentiating with respect to x, function is in terms of y. What we do here, we write it as dy by dx. We already learn all these things in chain rule differentiation. Okay, equal to here 4a is constant, you take it outside into derivative of x with respect to x. We know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay. Now, you observe differentiation is over. After differentiation, arbitrary constant is eliminated. Our main intention is we need to eliminate arbitrary constant in the process of differentiation. Here, arbitrary constant is eliminated. No, not at eliminated. Then we use the third step. We use given curve or dy by dx. Here, from this curve, given curve, you observe, can we write 4a from this? What is 4a from this? 4a is y square divided by x. You take x to this side y square divided by x. So what I will do in this, in place of 4a, I will write y square divided by x. 2y into dy by dx equal to 4a into 1 is 4a only. So in place of 4a, I will write y square divided by x. You can observe here, in this no arbitrary constant is there. Okay, so this is the required differential equation. If you want to simplify this little bit, you can simplify. You see here, here this y and here one y will get cancelled. And you take x to this side, then what you will get? 2x into dy by dx equal to, here one y is present, right? So this is the required differential equation 